Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Allie's Amazing Sense. If you're new here, my name's Allison, your independent Sensi consultant, and today I'm going to share with you all of the scents from the upcoming fall winter catalog. So let's get started. Okay, let me get a little bit closer here. Um, we'll try to go through these fairly quick because there is a lot of scents in here. Um, so it probably will be a longer video. If that's not your thing, you know, go ahead and skip past. The catalog will be available to view online um, starting August 1st. So um, we're just going to talk about the wax, but there are some really cool new products in here. Um, they're highlight. Some of them are highlighted on the cover. So Cloudberry Dreams is going to be coming out in the cleaning line as well as the body line and the uh, laundry line. <clears throat> so it's a big season for Cloudberry Dreams. They have some cool new warmers. And here you can see on the front cover um, an air purifier. Sensi is going to be launching an air purifier. And it is awesome. And I am going to be getting one. Um, when the catalog launches and I will definitely share that with you guys. Um, I'm really excited about it. Right now we have had horrible air quality. In fact, um, I think we were number two in the country there for a while. I don't know if we still are um, in terms of poor air quality due to wildfires. So it's really smoky out there. Um, my throat is killing me. My eyes are killing me headaches, all that fun stuff. Um, so not that that's going to be a, a fix all, but I am looking forward to the air purifier for many reasons. And that's one of them. So I'll be sharing that with you guys, but today we're just going to focus on the scents in the catalog because there is a ton. So, um, first of all, I think we'll briefly go through the new releases. I did do a separate video where I shared, um, the full size bars of the 10 new fragrances but since i have all the testers here and i have them sorted out by categories we'll just go ahead and go through it um so since he has um 10 new releases this year and i will say i'm actually super excited for this um catalog i'm a spring summer gal at heart i've always said that but i am psyched about this catalog um, for a couple reasons. One, I feel like I'm branching out more and as I'm getting more into home fragrance, mm, my preferences are changing and expanding. But also I think Scentsy did a really great job this um, season appealing to a wider audience where it's not just cinnamon and pine and mint, you know, um, there's a lot more variety to this catalog that can appeal to everyone, including people that wouldn't consider themselves fall winter lovers. So <clears throat> there's a lot to be excited about. Um, the first one we have is, um, in the new category. These are not in like alphabetical orders, kind of just as I pull them out of the bag. And this is a new release, but it is in the spice category. I'm pretty sure. Yes, and it is um, Spiced Ember Glow. This is um, a dark kind of maroon wax. And if I remember right, this is not one of my favorites. No. Um, smoked apple and a toasted vanilla. Sorry, smoked apple and toasted vanilla over cinnamon embers offer warm and inviting escape. Um... It's just very spice. So I was hoping it would be a little bit more like um, toned down, a little sweeter, like uh, what is that one? Apple s'mores, but it's not. But if you like um, just like a solid spice scent, you'll probably like that one. The next one, I don't know why that's in there. That's the wrong bag. Okay, the next one is... Uh, I had that in the wrong bag. It is a new release, but um, I'm sorry. 
Uh, I just, I just opened, um, this is a side note and then we'll get on track here, but I just opened a package from Scentsy that was unfortunately missing some items. So I'm a little bit disappointed and thrown off right now. I know they're going to make it right, but, um, it's just kind of throwing me off my game right now. So let's get back on track here. That's not what we're here for. Uh, the next one in new releases, I love this. Um, I haven't warmed any of these yet because it's super hot here, but um, I am excited to warm this. This is Blue Sage and Tonka. Um, so Blue Sage and then Tonka is like a vanilla scent. I get like a masculine cologne scent from this. It is so good. It's in the woods category, which is where we see the cologne type scents. And it's described as revel in the richness of midnight sage and black lavender over sultry sweetness of tonka bean. Not sure what black lavender is, but I am a lavender fan. But I just get like sexy man with this and I'm here for it. That is so good. Okay, the next one we have for a new release is graham cracker crunch. This is in the bakery category. And this is described as caramelized graham cracker layered with crunchy peanut butter and creamy vanilla bean. And that's pretty good. Um, when I was smelling the full size bar, um, it seemed like there was more graham cracker on top and peanut butter on bottom, but, um, it is really good for bakery. I like that one. Picky about bakery. Uh, the next one is tinselberry and this is in the fruity category. It's described as strawberry and cranberry dripped in cinnamon and sweet sugar for a little extra sparkle. Um, it's strawberry and cinnamon. When I smelled the full size bar, I got a lot of the strawberry where it kind of reminded me of like a strawberry puree with a little bit of cinnamon. That's basically what I'm getting in here. So it's an interesting combination. I'm really, really picky about cinnamon and spice in general. So it wouldn't be a go-to for me, but I think it'll be popular. The next one I am excited to try, and this is pomegranate prosecco. This is in the fruity category, and it's described as delicate uh, rosé berry in pomegranate at an effervescent, sorry, <coughs> this smoke. Okay, I'm not even holding it where you can see it. Um, delectable rosé berry and pomegranate add an effervescent splash to a flute of pink Prosecco. That's really nice. I'm really excited to try that. I love like that sparkling note. So I, I wish Scentsy would just come out with, um, just an effervescent sparkly note bar. I would uh, like something like called, maybe they could call it like just the bubbles or something. I think it would make a great mixer. Um, the next one is cinnamon buttercream that is in the bakery category and it's described as Italian buttercream and creamy masca mascarpone, um, scooped over cinnamon cake, combined sugar, spice, and everything nice. I don't like this one. I don't like, um, I get a weird note from the cheese, almost a little bit of like a sour note and I'm not a <clears throat> cinnamon fan anyway, so. That is not one I would go to. This is my favorite of the new releases. Love it so much. And this is Eucalyptus Wreath. This is in the fresh category. And it is described as fresh eucalyptus is woven with juniper and adorned with frosted mint. And it is that truly fresh eucalyptus. It's not the medicinal eucalyptus. Um, there is a Scentsy bar that came out as a Bring Back My Bar about a year ago. Um, that's just eucalyptus and it's very medicinal. This is not that. This is really fresh, sweet. It's like a fresh herb, a little bit herbaceous. So good. I would warm this year round. I think it would be awesome in a bathroom and around the holidays. It's going to be, it's going to be great in my open concept. Um, I can't wait to warm that one. <laughs> The next one I am excited about because it's in the spice category, but I actually really like it on cold and it is Harvest Blessings and it's this pretty orange color and it is described as 
radiant apple and spiced pumpkin um, and smooth oak embody everything you love about autumn. So radiant apple, spiced pumpkin, and smooth oak. Oh, that is good. I think just the combination of the apple and the pumpkin, a little bit of oak. The apple is probably the predominant note that gives it that sweetness. I love that. I'm going to order that in my first um, order from the new catalog. Hopefully it doesn't get too spicy when it's warmed. The next one that's new um, is also really nice. And this is cashmere and corduroy. And this is um, in the woods category. And it's described as, I'm like not even holding it up to the camera. I'm sorry. Um, wrap yourself in the coziness of creamy vanilla, Sicilian bergamot, and cashmere sandalwood. So I smelled this next to uh, cozy cashmere. And to me, it was very similar, but possibly a little bit lighter than Cozy Cashmere. But I've heard people say that it's quite different when you warm it. So it's just this nice, cozy scent. Um, I'm going to try it in my bedroom first. I think it'll be really nice. And then the next one I'm actually really, really excited about too. And this is um, Scarlet Sunflower. It is in the fruity category, not the floral. And it is described as... A juicy apple, a hint of red cranberry, are brightened by a scarlet sunflower turning to face the sun. So apple, red cranberry, and scarlet sunflower. And I think it's probably appropriate to be in fruity category. It is a sweet fruity scent. We also get a little bit of that floral, but it's not a powdery floral. This is really, really, really good. I like florals and, um, I really like this one. I like it better on cold than um, Here Come the Sunflowers, which don't hate me, but I've actually never warmed that. Just because I like sun soaked petals so much, that was my go-to for um, floral last season. Anyway, excited to try that. So we have some great new releases. And let's um, get into the fruity category. So we actually have quite a bit of fruity this season. Um which is nice. First one we have, which I tried to show you already, is Autumn Road Trip. This was a new one last season. It's a great performer. <coughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not sick. I, I don't have a virus. It's, it's from the smoke. Um, so anyway, this is a really great performer, and this is probably the strongest um, scent circle I've had. The scent circle lasted forever. So, um, it's a really popular scent. I'm not surprised it's back. And it's described as, take a tour through crisp harvest apple, just picked au jus pear in a forest of towering silver oak. So it's a nice, fresh um, fall scent that doesn't have spice in it. So I like that. The next one we have is Snowberry. Um, this is described as a luscious blend of loganberry, strawberry, peppermint, and zesty cinnamon. So if you notice, the wax is white. The bottom of the tester is red. So that means that the clamshell will be red and the tester will be white. A lot of times the clamshell is the same color as the wax, but every once in a while, especially like with the white waxes, it's not. Um, I'm not a fan of this one. I got this in a whiff box last December and I had to change it out. I did not like it. Um, like I said, I don't like cinnamon very much. There's a few exceptions, but mixed with um, berries, to me, those just, to my nose, those don't really belong together. But um, I don't want to diss anybody that likes it because... It's a very popular one, and if you like it, more more power to you. Um, I think there's another, what was that? There was a new release that we talked about. Oh, the um, one with the strawberry in it? That kind of reminded me a little bit of Snowberry, Tinselberry. That reminded me a little bit of Snowberry, but with more strawberry. Okay, the next fruity one is Berry Blessed. I'm, I'm very excited about Berry Blessed. <laughs> oh, that's so good. It is a sweet berry 
the sweet berry fruity scent. Um, this came out in an LTO last winter, limited time offer. I think it was the holiday collection. I'm not sure because I didn't purchase it. So this is my, this tester is the first time I've smelled it. Um, I've smelled these testers already, but this is a great scent and this will be one of the first ones I ordered too. It's described as um, soft vanilla and cranberry sprinkled with sparkling sugar is pure bliss. Just such a nice sweet berry scent. To me, it's not holiday or even seasonal specific. Um, I would warm this right now if I had a bar of it. This is really, really nice. I hope it's a good performer because it's a beautiful scent. The next one we have is Jeweled Pomegranate. Okay. Um, and Jeweled Pomegranate uh, really made a, a come up this season. So let me read you the notes first. Shimmering pomegranate sparkles with sugared mandarin and a twinkle of cinnamon. The cinnamon is not um, predominant in here. I get a little bit, but not much. I mostly get the um, pomegranate, and it's really nice. So this was the scent of the month for November 2020. And now it's um, coming out, <coughs> excuse me, in the body line in this catalog. So we'll have it in... Um, I don't know if it's going to be in sugar scrub, but we're going to have it in body wash and hand cream and body cream and, um, Scentsy Silk, sugar scrub, hand soap, fragrance mist. I think it would be a nice body scent for the winter. This has a little bit of a sentimental, um, value to me. I have a brick of it that I haven't broken into yet, but I had purchased a scent of the month of this, um, in November. This was before I was a consultant. And I got really, really sick. Um, and I was in the hospital. I was out of work for two weeks. I was in and out of the hospital. I was in there for about a week. But I, I was in there a couple times. And I ended up getting diagnosed with um, an autoimmune disease. Which it does not have a cure. It doesn't have a good um, outlook long term. But anyway. Um, <clears throat> It kind of was a bummer because I was in the hospital away from my family. COVID was going on, so I couldn't have any visitors or anything. And I was away from my girls for longer than I'd ever been. And uh, I, I couldn't, you know, do any fragrance in the hospital. It's not like I showed up to the ER with my wax and warmer, which may have been a good idea. But anyway, um... When I got home, it was Thanksgiving Day, and I got home and I, I surprised my girls. They didn't know I was coming home that day, and I showed up Thanksgiving Day. My whole family was there, my kids, my parents, my brother, my sister-in-law, and I put in Jewel Pomegranate, and I warmed it on Thanksgiving, um, and we all got to be together after me being in the hospital. So, not trying to be sappy or anything, but... This scent um, has an emotional connection to me because that's what it reminds me of. Just that happy, happy time being re reunited with family and, you know, special memories with them. So, um, it's a really nice scent. I, I enjoy this. So, I'm glad that it came back and I'm, I'm surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised that it made it into um, all those things in body. It'll be interesting to see how it does. The next one, so excited that this is continuing over to this catalog, and this is Johnny Appleseed. So good. This is just fresh apples, um, fresh crisp apples. So it's described as just picked Macintosh pops with apple peels and a hint of crisp pear. So good. I love this in counter clean. I love it in wax. Um, I like to if I'm going to warm something with a little bit of maybe apple spice or, <clears throat> you know, other fall scents, I like to have this either mixed with it or in an alternating warmer. It really pairs well with a lot of fall scents. So really excited that um, Scentsy listened to their customers and consultants when we um, expressed a desire to have it in the catalog year round. And it was already gone last season so they came out with it in a brick and then now it's returning and I'm so happy um 
if you guys have ever seen Patricia Gates, she she used to say that Johnny Appleseed is like the pool boy. You know, he comes around for the spring, summer, and then he leaves. And so I think she said something about like, oh, now he's the um, ice rink boy or something. I don't know. But yeah, it was funny because he's he's back. Johnny's, Johnny's sticking around. The next one is um, Bright Cider Life. And I think this was an LTO in one of the collections. I didn't get it. I don't know if it was a gorgeous collection. I wasn't a consultant last fall winter. This is my first fall winter as a consultant. So haven't tried a lot of these. Um, but I love how this smells. Is this the one? Yeah, this is really good. I think I was getting it mixed up with, I don't know, Cider Mill. But this is really good. It is bright. Um, it is described as spice harvest cider comes to life with luscious pumpkin and a slice of red apple. So it's not too heavy on the spice. It is in the fruity category. I think that'd be a really, really nice fall scent. My next one is Cloudberry Dreams. Um, this was a new fragrance last fall, winter. Stuck around for spring, summer, and now it's back. But like I said, it's also, this is a, uh, a come up season for this too because it's available in all kinds of other products now. Which I was a little surprised because I <clears throat> haven't heard a lot of positive things about it. But I guess it depends who you talk to because it's... In the catalog, it is listed as a bestseller, and it must do really well. Otherwise, they wouldn't put it in all these other products. Um, I haven't tried it in wax. I haven't tried it at all, other than testers. So I'm going to be purchasing this bar to see how I like it, because I think it might be a nice one to pick up in bathroom cleaner. I like bathroom cleaners that I don't... Sometimes I get sick of just having the standard citrus bathroom cleaners all the time. Um, so I think that this would be a nice alternative. Mm, yeah, it has a little bit of rose in it. And I like rose in a bathroom. So this is described in the fruity category as sweet raspberry and a whisper of rose soar through billowy bursts of peach and vanilla. On cold, I get more than a whisper of rose. I mostly get rose. My um, sense of smell may be a little bit skewed right now because of the smoky conditions, but I remember thinking that before that I got mostly rose. So we'll see how it is when I warm it. And then I am curious to see um, how it does in some of the other products. The next one is Very Merry Cranberry. It's this pretty red wax and it is described as lush red winter berries Pop against a backdrop of snow-colored cedar, snow-covered cedar, <laughs> creating a lovely winter landscape. So basically winter berries and cedar. And it's interesting that they don't say cranberry in the description. They just say winter berries. I don't know. That's just <clears throat> kind of a standard holiday scent to me. Um, the next one is Caramel Apple Craze. I love this. I'm so excited. This is going to be one of the first ones I get too. It's just, it's really sweet. A sweet caramel apple. Uh, creamy golden caramel, sweet red delicious apples, and whipped vanilla invite you to be a trick-or-treater again. And yeah, this would be great for Halloween. Um, I've only worn this in a little sample that I got in a whiff box. And, um, I warmed it in my girl's room and I will say towards the end, it took on a little bit of a butter note and that was towards the very end. So I think my husband even commented on it that he thought that was kind of weird. So I want to get a bar of it and see how it does up until then. Um, and if it does that again, then I would just change it out at that point. Cause I think it lasted a few days and it's just, it's. It's a wonderful scent. I love this. I think it would be, like I said, perfect for Halloween time. Okay, the next one is Winterberry Apple Tea. And this is a bestseller. And it is described as winter tea 
cozies up to cranberry, apple, and honey. This is really nice. Um, I haven't worn this one yet, but I have it in body scrub that I picked up in a clearance um, sale. And I really, I think that's where I got it. Maybe it was a whiff box. But I really like it in the body scrub. I'm saving it for winter. So this is, this is nice. And I think I probably will be picking this up. But I think this is more of a winter scent for me than like a fall scent. It's a little bit like of a deeper scent. Uh, the next one is classic in the catalog year round. In fact, it's a best selling Scentsy Bar of all time. And it is black raspberry vanilla. It's described as delicious, sun sweet, sun sweetened dark berries uh, warmed with vanilla. It's nice. It's a great scent to get someone if you're not sure what they like. Because it's a pretty universal scent. <clears throat> and I've heard it's good in laundry too. I haven't tried it in laundry. The next one is Perfectly Pomegranate. This is also a year-round scent. Dark and juicy pomegranate with sweet berry finish. This class. This is a classic. Pomegranate and sweet berry. And it is sweet. The next one is Totally Mini. This was new spring summer. And it is in the fruity category. It's one of our licensed bars. And it is described as part classy, part sassy. This sweet blend of pink melon, hibiscus blooms, and juicy apple is full of fun and totally mini. I just finished up my last of my bar of this. First time I warmed it, it didn't get that great a performance. But after it sat and cured for a little bit, and then also once I put it in a ceramic warmer versus glass, I got a lot better performance from it. And I probably would purchase again because my daughters really like it. They have fun with it. The next one is also um, <clears throat> a licensed item. We had this in a limited time offer a few months ago, and now it's coming to the catalog. And this is Disney Princess Collection. Disney Princess True Love Awaits. This is in the fruity category. And it's described as enter a kingdom where enchanting ripe raspberry, sparkling mandarin, and a kiss of sweet vanilla Right, perfect ter right, the perfect fairy tale ending. Some of these are pretty wordy, but it's basically ripe raspberry, sparkling mandarin, and sweet vanilla. I don't really get the sparkling note. It's nice. It reminds me a little bit of Cloudberry Dreams, but a little bit sweeter without the um, rose note. It's nice. My um, daughter has this bar in her room. My oldest daughter, Maddie, she likes that. The next one is Mickey Mouse and Friends. This is also a limited or a licensed item, Disney bar, and it is, it's a really good performer in my house. It's like um, candied peach rings. So it's, um, it's blue, but it's a peach scent, and it's um, celebrate everlasting friendship with fragrance almost as sweet Thanks to Georgia Peach, accelerated by pops of orange peel and vanilla. Sorry, I'm not even like holding it up to the camera. I'm too far away from the camera. Oh, that is really good. And you know what? I'm really excited because this is going to be coming out in pods. Um, we have some new pods coming out that I'm excited for. We have licensed pods coming out and you're going to be able to bundle and save with them. So Mickey Mouse is a license, going to be a licensed pod, Mickey Mouse and Friends, Marvel Nine Realms, which is one of my all time favorites, and um, the Disney Princess one we just talked about. It's the first time since he's had uh, licensed pods. So that's a good one, Mickey Mouse and Friends. I really like that one. Um, I haven't warmed it in a while, but I do remember liking it a lot. So I'll be trying it in pods. Let's try to speed things up here so I don't run out of room. The next one is citrus. Um, the citrus category got toned down quite a bit from the summer. There's only four fragrances. Why do I have five in here? One of them must be... Oh, because one of them is the other um, <clears throat> license item. It's Oh Boy. Nikki Oh Boy. And this is described as... In honor of the true original, juicy grapefruit cheerfully mixed with bright clementine and sugared vanilla is one of a kind, just like Mickey Mouse. I have not tried this because to my nose it smells <coughs> like fruit punch. 
I'm not a big fruit punch fan. Um, Sunkissed Citrus. This is a classic. It's available year round. Um, and it is described as lively blend of oranges, lemons, limes, and grapefruit. My brother really likes this and him and his wife like it in the cleaning line a lot. Uh, the next one is Squeeze the Day. This is another popular one. I'm surprised they don't say it's a bestseller. It's uh, now available year round. At one time it was a scent of the month. Um, that's good. I have this in bathroom cleaner right now. And it is described as a tart and true fragrance of pure lemons balanced by a hint of vanilla cream. That's a great one. I think that'd be great for cleansing the air. Uh, the next one is, is great for cleansing the air. I always try to have a bar on hand because of that. And that is coconut lemongrass. Mm, this is like my favorite lemon scent. This is a classic. It's available year round, been around forever. Um, kind of a white creamy wax with a yellow clamshell. And it's described as creamy tropical coconut and sunny bright lemongrass and I think that that's why I like it so much because I love coconut and that kind of just smooths it out sweetens it out it's not as tart as like squeeze a day but it's a really great performer um my friend got a bar of it and she gave it to me because it was too strong for her I love that coconut lemongrass the next category is fresh um and we do have quite a bit of fresh this season uh so we'll go ahead and talk about these. First one is a bestseller, available year-round, aloe water and cucumber. This is a wonderful scent. Aloe water, cucumber peel, palm frond, and pineapple nectar are oh so mellow. It's mellow, but it's, it's a strong scent. It's pretty, it's not like a powerhouse, but it's definitely present. And it's just like a sweet, clean scent. That's really great. The next one is... Cozy Cardigan. Is this a bestseller? Yes, it is. People love this. Cozy Cardigan. This is described as find bedded bliss in layers of soft suede, blushing rose, and amber silk. And this is a really nice cozy scent. It is. It's just cozy. It's great in the bedroom in the winter. Love it. Next one is Just Breathe. This is a nice, fresh, um, kind of invigorating scent. Breathe deeply as soothing eucalyptus, zesty lemon, and a melody of mints comfort and rejuvenate. Hmm. I had this in pods before, and I liked it in pods for, like, if I had a little bit of congestion or whatever. Just put my Scentsy Go on by my bed, um, right before bed. Not that I'm claiming any type of um, medicinal value, but it's really nice. And it is that, um... Some people describe it as a medicinal scent. It, to me, it's not. It's fresh and invigorating. Uh, the next one is Vanilla Mint. I love this. I only had a couple of scents from this catalog um, that I kept in my Scentsy Club over spring, summer, and this was one. This was club worthy for me. You know, a lot of mint just smells like toothpaste, but this is a beautiful mint. This is a mint that I can get behind. We have the white wax and the green clamshell and it is described as wintergreen frost sparkles with vanilla and frozen citrus. Not sure what type of citrus but I think that's a magical ingredient in it and then the vanilla just gives it a sweetness. So I like this um, like out my open concept in the winter but I like it in my bathroom year round. It's a great bathroom scent. The next one is Polar Bear Hug, formerly known as Eskimo Kiss. And this is described as blackberry jam, caramelized brown sugar, vanilla, and amber in a softly romantic scent. So blackberry jam, brown sugar, vanilla, and amber. This is so good. Um, <coughs> been around for a long time. Great performer. One of those scents that lingers after you turn off your warmers. Um, and you know, it's funny when you talk about how scents change because the first time I tried this, I did not like it and I emptied it out of my warmer. And then last season, I really fell in love with it. Gave it a second chance, like, you know, a year later and I just, I loved it. So this is a great scent and I'll definitely be getting some of that. And then, um, Polar Bear Hugs, um, sister, 
or close relative is a new one to the catalog and it is i'm sure you guys know what i'm talking about arctic kiss arctic kiss i have it in the brick i love arctic kiss this was the other one that was in my club if i had to pick between the two i would pick arctic kiss but they're very they're similar this is a little bit fresher to me um and basically instead of the blackberries it has like a melon note yeah it's a little bit this is um sweeter a little bit this is fresher arctic kiss and it's described as <coughs> cool arctic mint and fresh air embrace this the uh, embrace the warmth of fluffy vanilla clouds so arctic mint fresh air and vanilla clouds this is so good this was a december 2020 scent in the month it also was um featured with the warmer of the month which was panoramic polar that sold out like on day one um so they did pre-orders for it which i think people are just getting but even though it's not in the main part of the catalog you can see that it is back here where they show all the items the panoramic polar so that is coming back and i'm excited about that one i'm intrigued it's an 18 watt element warmer which is the highest i've seen and i also i also think um it take you can have up to five cubes of wax in a dish which is also you know mostly it's four or less so Anyway, off topic a little bit, but I'm excited about the scent and the warmer. And then the next one is a classic available year round. Is this a bestseller? It doesn't say it is, but um, this is Clean Breeze. Um, what is it called in, in Scentsy Clean, I think? In laundry. I love it in laundry. I love it in wax, everything. Oh, so good. It's just like clean laundry. It is described as um, white florals with a touch of spring. That is a scent of fresh, clean laundry. And that it is. The next one is Perfect Peppermint, um, white wax, red clamshell. And it's described as cooler than most. Pure peppermint is the popular kid you'll learn to love. So maybe you learn to love it because it's a scent that grows on you when it's warmed. I don't know. It's just kind of a standard mint to me on cold, but like I said, I've never warmed it. Jammy time. This has to be a bestseller. It doesn't say it is. This is available year round. One of my all time favorite scents. It's also great in laundry. Drift into dreamland with baby freesia, lavender, and sweet pea. So comforting. I love that scent. Uh, the next one is Best in Snow. I think this was a new release last year. And this is described as Frosted Evergreen, Cool Mint, and a breath of pure icy air posed together in this prize-winning winter snapshot. I don't know. I mostly just get it's kind of a lighter scent, actually. But, yeah, like a cool mint. Got a coolness to it. Uh, next one, this is a bestseller, Amazon Rain. It's available year-round. Set off on a rainforest romp with swirling with sweet notes of melon, orange, zest, coconut milk, and jasmine. I'm sorry, this has got to be really annoying that I can't hold it up right. This is all right. I like these types of scents normally, but I have this in bathroom cleaner, so now it just kind of reminds me of bathroom cleaner, but a lot of people really love it. Next one is a really great scent. I have an encounter clean, but I still love it in the wax. Powerhouse right here. This is by the sea. That's a bestseller. Um, the scent of ocean air wafting through dewy seaside grass. And it kind of smells like David off cool water cologne. Has a little bit of that type of um, aquatic cologne fresh scent to it. Next one, like I said, is one of my all-time favorites. Marvel Nine Realms. I just, I love this. Um, it has characters on the cover, but a gray cover and then the red wax. And um, this is a licensed item and it's described as a heroic mix of lime zest and blue tea keeps you connected to the universe while lavender lightning really packs a punch. Lime zest, blue tea, and lavender lightning. Not sure what lavender lightning is, but I get like a fresh masculine cologne scent it's so good and 
This is another powerhouse. I only usually use about half as much when I put that in my warmers. I love it. Can't wait for that to come out in pods. The next one is Clothesline. This is available year round. It is a fresh laundry scent with a little bit of like a floral note to it. Um, I can smell it from here. Crisp greens, orange flower, creamy violet, and white wicker basket will let you savor the scent of just, just wash laundry. So where Clean Breeze is just fresh laundry, this is fresh laundry with a sweet note to it. And like I said, that is a powerhouse. The next one, Silver Bells. I am going to try this this year. Oh, that's good. Okay, so this is a gray wax and clamshell and it's described as mint candy canes dance over warm and welcoming winter pear all enveloped in a velvety blanket of caramel and vanilla sugar. So mint candy canes, winter pear, which I love pear, caramel and vanilla sugar. This is another mint that I really like because you have like the fruity notes in there that give it the sweetness and it's more than just like a standard mint. Um, one time I went over to my friend's house, um, like last winter and I walked in her house. I said, it smells really good in here. What are you warming? And it was silver bells. Um, I think that was after the season though, but I, I am going to pick some of that up. <clears throat> and then the last one in fresh is hundred acre woods. This is a licensed item. Um, came out with the Winnie the Pooh collection. It's available year round for now. Um, and this is a very light scent and it's described as grab your favorite hand and wander through a friendly forest swirling with cotton blossoms, jasmine, and sweet, cozy vanilla. Very pretty, very comforting, but also very light. So this would be great for, I have a friend that's really sensitive to smells and this is one that she can do. And then, um, also like a kid's room or a nursery, it would be great. Um, I will say in the scent packs though, that you put in the Scentsy Buddies, it, it, I feel like it's stronger in the scent pack than in wax, but that's hundred acre woods. That's the fresh category. Okay. Um, bakery, this category grew for the fall winter. And you know, what's kind of funny is like in the spring summer catalog, you start with fresh fruity floral, and then you move towards bakery and in this catalog you it goes you know spice bakery then fresh then woods and citrus and florals last so kind of reverse it um as appropriate for the season but bakery is a pretty hefty category this time of year it's a full page in the catalog and the first one is butter pecan i don't know if this was I think this is uh, went away fall this last spring summer, but I remember it being here last season. Maybe it's been around. I don't know. Butter pecan. This is described as what is it described as? There's a lot of bees in here. Um, if fall had oh yeah, this was in the spring summer because I'm like this is weird that they would have it in spring summer because the description says. If fall had a flagship fragrance, this blend of ca candy, pecan, and maple folded with butter would be a strong contender. I don't really like pecan notes, but I mostly get like the butter in there. Sorry. Right. Next one is salted caramel toffee. I'm interested in this. Uh, this came out in the brick collection, the holiday brick collection. And then it showed up in clearance and I almost bought a brick, but I'm hesitant because of the toffee. I don't like toffee. But caramel, I love caramel. So salted caramel toffee. I mostly just get like a sweet bakery. I'm not getting a whole lot of toffee. It's it's hard to tell in these testers sometimes. But this is described as um, the sweet scent of salted caramel takes melted toffee and butterscotch to new levels of indulgence. And I love butterscotch. So I'll probably pick up a bar to try it. Um... And hope, hopefully that toffee doesn't come out too much. The next one is Hugging a Mug. This was around last year. Um, it's like a chocolate scent. Um, curl up with chocolate, hazelnut, and cookie dough. That smells pretty good. I think it'd have to be not something I just warmed whenever. It would have to be like an occasion, have to be in the mood. But I think my kids and my husband would like that one. 
The next one is Vanilla Waves. This came out in the spring summer catalog and I did buy a bar of it. It was a little bit light for me. So I ended up mixing it with Pacific Sandalwood and that was a good combination. But I like this for a bakery because it also has like a fresh note to it. It's actually pretty nice. It's unique for a bakery. Um, I just wish it was a little stronger. But this is described as sea salt and whipped vanilla um, crash into a sticky sea salt and whipped vanilla crash into sticky caramel for an elegant fusion of opposites. Mm, that's good. It's interesting. I like that one though. And it's been really popular. The next one is apple butter frosting. This uh, stuck around all year, I believe. Heartwarming melody of cinnamon spiced apples, decadent vanilla butter cream. I want to like this one because I love my grandma's apple butter frosting. I mean apple butter. But this smells like it's going to have a lot of cinnamon in it. The next one is breakfast in bed. I have a friend that loves this scent. It was a, new to the catalog last season and it was really popular. I mean last fall winter. So now it's back and it's a bestseller. Um, it's got a lot going on. Wake up to the Wake up to a warm pumpkin pastry filled with black raspberry and topped with sweet cinnamon drizzle. I, I appreciate that for a bakery. I do. The next one is baked apple pie. I think this is available year round too. There's a lot of cinnamon in that. Flaky crust, apples, and spices combined in a strong scent. <laughs> it's funny that they say that. This is also available in Bricks in Scentsy Club. If you like this scent, you can get it on, in Bricks year-round. It's equivalent to five and a half bars of wax. Uh, next one is Pumpkin Roll. And this is actually pretty good. This is um, described as creamy pumpkin pie filling surrounded with yellow cake, pecans, butter, and spice. Pecans are not very dominant in that. It reminds me of like a pumpkin cinnamon roll. That's nice. The next one is vanilla bean buttercream. I've never warmed this. Every time I pick up a bar, I always end up selling it before I can warm it. So I like it though. And I think it'd be a great mixer. It's a bestseller. Um, decadent buttercream frosting made with the freshest butter whipped with cane sugar and vanilla extract. So I'm going to have to make a point to just buy a bar for myself and just try it. I've smelled it warmed and it's it's really good. Sugar cookie is another one I want to try. Not quite as sweet and strong to my nose as vanilla bean buttercream, but I feel like they're along the same lines. Um, there's a clamshell color, there's a wax, and it is a warm, sweet blend of butter, sugar, and creamy vanilla. And both of those are year-round scents. So is this last one, which is a classic and a bestseller, and it is blueberry cheesecake blue with the white. Oops. Um, since he describes blueberry cheesecake as thick, rich New York cheesecake with graham cracker crust and blueberries. Hmm. That's good. I've never warmed this. I've heard some people say that that cheesecake note is a little bit rancid to their nose when they warm it. But it, I like it. It's um, cold. It's really unique that they can get that actual cheesecake note in there. And then now you have the blueberries. I like that. I That's another one I just need to try. And I think that's in a brick too in Scentsy Club. And the last one is Apple Cherry Strudel. Um, I also want to try this one actually. Granny Smith Apples, Cherry and Vanilla Drizzle. Vanilla Drizzle insist on dessert first. So Granny Smith Apple, Cherry and Vanilla Drizzle. I'm usually not a big cherry fan. But I, I think that cherry dessert would be good. That smells pretty good. I like that. Um, I remember my friend picked up a bar of it last year, the end of the season, and I think she liked it. I have to ask her. Okay, let's hurry up here. We have two more, well, two, three more categories, but one of them is just one bar. One, one lonely scent in the floral category. That's how it was last year, and it is none other than Luna. Uh, Luna is described as so good. 
white florals, jasmine, sweet pea, and freesia, juicy berries, and sandalwood shimmer like moonlight. This is a classic. This is another one that pretty much everyone likes, whether you like floral or not. I actually was just reading a Scentsy blog that they had about this. And uh, this scent came out in 2011, and it's been a bestseller ever since. And they were just talking about how it has um, the different factors in it that makes it have such a universal appeal. So that's Luna, and that's really nice. I actually had that in my office um, till this afternoon. I changed it out. Um, okay, so spice category and woods category or what we have left let's start with woods because it's not as big of a category um <clears throat> first one is very snowy spruce this is a bestseller and it's described as breathe in fresh forest air balsam spruce and cedar branches embrace the warmth amber of woody pine cones see i do like the balsam in there because it reminds me of lavender and white balsam which i love so that could be a pretty nice um, scent to have around Christmas time. The next one is Cedar Cider. I love Cedar Cider. Oh, yeah, definitely. I almost put this in my club and I took a gamble and I'm glad it came back. Um, an autumn melody of the reddest apples, cinnamon sticks, and vanilla beans nestled among fragrant white cedar branches. So, yeah, it does say it has cinnamon, vanilla, apple, all that. I just get cedar. It just reminds me of walking into uh, like a new cedar closet, like a cedar walk-in closet. I love it so much. Yeah, I just get cedar. And like I said, I'm picky about cinnamon, but I don't even smell the cinnamon. That's so good. The next one is Around the Campfire. This was new last year, and now it's back. It's just a campfire scent without any sweetness. Um... Make some memories in the mountain air as notes of fresh fallen wood and smoky embers help to set the scene. So I do have a bar of this that I haven't warmed yet and I'm going to try it. I think it would, I'm going to try it on its own, but I also think it would be a good mixer with some of the sweeter scents. Um, yeah, I like that one. Next one is Mystery Man. This is a bestseller. It's available year round. It's just like a cologne type scent. Warm white cedar, green verbena, and citrusy bergamot in a perfectly spiced, sensual fragrance. It's not really spice. It's like a fresh cologne. The next one is red berry and spruce. And I think this might be my favorite Christmas tree scent on cold. Um, a melody of, uh, sorry, a merry mix of cranberry and raspberry swirled in a sprig of blue spruce. So... Last year, my favorite was um, Pretty and Plaid, and that did not come back. But I think this would be a good replacement. If you like Pretty and Plaid, this has, like, the sweetness of the berries with the tree. It's similar, and I think you would like that if you like Pretty and Plaid. That's going to be my um, trial replacement for it. Next one is Iced Pine, and this is described as a refreshing, as refreshing as a walk through Newly fallen snow, green fir and pine, kissed by icy peppermint. So fir, pine, and peppermint. And yeah, that's basically what it is. I don't know. I feel like that's kind of a kind of a cliche Christmas tree scent. Be merry. Ooh, I think this is the one that I was thinking of would replace um pretty and plaid. So red berry and spruce. Yeah. Be Mary has a lot more scent to it, to my nose. I like that. Joy abounds in pine burrows dotted with holly leaf and cassis. I thought cassis was, why did I think it was like a cinnamon? I must be thinking of something else. I don't know. That's really good though. Um, My hero. I'm glad that this came back. It was in the Father's Day collection. 2020 made its way into the spring summer catalog and it decided to stick around. My hero is cool citrus and white birch ride a current of crisp air, but it's a masculine cologne scent, a little bit more mature scent to me than mystery man. This smells like something my husband would wear. Oh, it's 
so good. Okay. Um, one more in the woods category, and this is weathered weather. So, <clears throat> uh, what is the other, I'm drawing a blank, the other leather that left us. Um, but this is weathered leather is what we have left, and it's just leather. Yeah, it's like you're, it's good, but it's, it's a good leather smell, but that's what it is, is leather. Like you're smelling a brand new fresh shoe. My dog would love to eat this smell. Um, step into an old fashioned saddle shop brimming with dark suede, tooled leather, and vintage saddles over a backdrop of oak. <clears throat> it's just, uh leather it's a good leather scent uh, it'd probably be good if you're looking if like if you have like leather seats in your car um something like that for the car would be good okay we have one left this is kind of you know the shining star of the catalog and that is a spice category which uh, as i've already made pretty clear is not my favorite category but there are some really awesome ones in here that harvest blessings that new one i'm definitely gonna be trying that First one um, is apple and cinnamon sticks, and this is a bestseller. Apple peel, spice white pumpkin, and a touch of oak. And a lot more than a touch of cinnamon. You have to like cinnamon to like that one. It kind of reminds me of like when you walk into like Michael's or something in the fall. I almost get a headache when I go in those places in the fall. Like I'm surprised that they can... People, more people don't complain. Just it's, it's a lot. And I'm not like sensitive to smells, but it's overkill. Okay. Um, maple apple bourbon. That's better, but it definitely still has cinnamon in it. Um, juicy red apple and rich maple. Get in the holiday spirit with a splash of bourbon. Hmm. I know some people that would like that one. The next one is First Day of Fall. And this is described as all the best parts are here. Just picked pumpkin, a breath of autumn woods, ground nutmeg, and a spicy dash of cinnamon. That's a lot of scent notes. Pumpkin, ground nutmeg, and dash of cinnamon. I think my nose is getting worn out from all this sniffing because that doesn't have a lot of scent to me right now. Christmas Cottage. I feel like this has been around for a while. This is a bestseller. Cozy inviting blend of Valencia oranges, raspberries, cloves, and spices. It's very heavy on the clove. But, I mean, it's a, kind of a standard Christmas scent. Homestead Holiday. I think this is another pretty popular one. Blood orange and cinnamon freshened by Ferdigal. Just a standard Christmas cinnamon spice one. Autumn Hearth. Oh, yeah, that's really not pleasant to my nose. I'm sorry. Um, okay, sorry. I got cut off. I'm running out of um room on my phone. So we're going to try to hurry here. Anyway, I was just talking about Autumn Hearth. And that is um, apple, cinnamon, and tonka are all about fall. But um, I am trying not to be too negative about this category because there's a lot of people that will like these ones. Cider Mill, this is actually pretty good. This is a bestseller. Mm. Uh, this is <clears throat> bringing together fresh apples, crushed pumpkin, and simmering spices for cozy autumn treat. Apples, pumpkin, and spices. Cedar Cider. Which, by the way, is anybody um, upset that uh, Honey Pear Cider didn't come back? I was really hoping it would. But I think this is a good replacement, and there's there's some other good ones. that. Plus, I have Cashmere Pear, but I am sad that Honey Pear Cider didn't come back. Pumpkin Chai. Hmm. I actually warmed this. I got it in a whiff box, but this was from the, um, I think it was called the Gord, Gorgeous um, Collection. Like a gourd. Um, fill your cup with white pumpkin, a swirl of cinnamon, and a dash of chai. That was actually pretty nice once it was warmed. See, you never really know until you warm them. 
Um, and then Welcome Home is year-round scent. This was the only spice one in the fall winter cat catalog. I mean, spring, summer. Um, warm and welcoming cinnamon and spices. Just a standard cinnamon spice, but it's available year-round. Autumn Sunset. Um, this is described as apples, pumpkins, um, fall leaves, and spices. A top 10 fragrance. Craft store. That's what I smell. Um, the next one is Cinnamon Bear. I know I'm not going to like this. This is like red hot cinnamon. Um, and this is described as crisp, spicy cinnamon with a touch of cloves. Yeah, it's like smelling uh, red hots. Or those like little cinnamon bears. <laughs> Hence the name. Uh, pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl. Fresh pumpkin garnished with cinnamon stick and a dollop of whipped icing. That's not too bad. I feel like I like pumpkin. I'm warming up to pumpkin more than I did before. This one I am excited to try. Dancing Sugar Plums. Because I love plum. Uh, it's a bestseller. Rich Spice Plum falls right in step with visions of vanilla and sweet cinnamon apple. So that's nice on cold. I hope the spice isn't too much. But I don't think it will be. I am picking up that plum. <laughs> okay, I'm back again. We have two more scents. So let's just go through them super quick. Clove and cinnamon. Um, another standard spice scent. And this is described as classic scent of cinnamon sticks fused with cloves. Clove is very strong in there. Kind of a bitter note. <clears throat> Not up my alley, but... I'm sure there's lots of people out there that would like it. And then Farm Sand Pumpkin is the last one. And this is um, 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 Indulgent Notes of Fresh Apple, Cinnamon Stick, Pumpkin, and Caramel. And that's actually pretty good. I like the pumpkin in there and the apple. Don't get a lot of cinnamon. So <clears throat> I like that one, Farm Sand Pumpkin. Anyway, um, if you're still here, thanks for bearing with me. Um, it's a long video. That's why I kept cutting out, but there was a lot of fragrances to go through. Um, let me know what one, what ones you're excited to try and, uh, some of your favorites and don't forget August 1st, these will be available for you to order. Thanks guys. Have